Hello, we are doing Divine Feminine's reading today, collective. So gather around. We might tell an epic story or just some shit. Whatever. I was going to get try to get this last night, but it was like way too late. It was like probably three. Oh, that is my hair. Okay. It was like three in the morning or some one. Or, I don't know, it was like super late. And it was like, I need to sleep. I have to work in the morning. But, I'm on vacation for nine days, so I don't care now. So, yay! To me, not doing anything for like days and like getting paid for it. So, yeah, we're doing Divine Feminine. So, if this resonates with you big deal. If this doesn't, don't worry about it. And if you look for a personal reading, um, just hit me up with my email that's in the description box below. And my PayPal is also down there if you want to donate anything or whatever. Because I really don't even, like, charge for readings. I like doing them, though. So there's that. Now, Divine Feminines, it does seem like that with y'all... You're still kind of like going through some stuff. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just enough. For it to be aggravating and getting on your nerves. Right? Right. Okay. So let's see what we have for you. Prince of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus, or Virgo right here. Delayed offer or just not moving forward with an offer. It's either you don't want to or you don't need to. Um three of pentacles because you're trying to balance yourself out so you're trying not to offer something like offer either you're delaying the offer or the offer is delayed to you which is fine because like you're working on yourself getting your balance back with the pentacles or even trying to almost bounce back from a third party situation because there is actually three bodies in here that I did not notice other than this person like, here's one person over here to the side, and here are two other people watching this guy on his pentacles. So it's kind of like, okay, definitely being watched with what you're doing. Creepy. Uh, Withering your thoughts, four of cups reverse. Have some things you're definitely mulling over when it comes to, like, some cups I got in there. Wow. Five of Cups right here. It's like the two cups that didn't get knocked over are just essentially pouring onto you. But I feel like it's more like you're coming a little bit out of this, like, hole. All of this stuff is drenched onto me and I feel like, ah, oh, such, right? I hate this update because it looks so ugly. Everything's like a bubble. And it doesn't go up. And it just ruined how I had everything set up. And it's terrible. But I'm just being a baby about it. Yeah, like five of cups. Usually there's like two cups that are left up. Right? Which is like what's left over of the five. Because the other three got knocked over by yourself or by somebody else. It really doesn't matter. But it's like those two cups that were left over were just... Leaving you with a lot of sorrow and regret because, like, the Four of Cups usually deals with loss, grief, stuff like that. But it, 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 it seems like it's coming off of you now. Ugh, Ace of Swords. Lack of clarity, though. That's something you're going to be dealing with. As well as someone snooping on you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Princess of Swords Reverse. Snooping? Not for a good reason at all. In fact, they're not looking for information that is of any use for you. I feel like this is somebody who's like looking for stuff. Like, they're acting like a spy, but they're spying for stuff. They might even start some gossip. Which I have to say, air signs are like the most gossipy people ever. Like, they, like they act like they are. They act like they hate it, but it's only because it's not coming from them. Just putting that out there. That's how I see it, you know. And who? The devil reverse could be Capricorn, but someone could also be coming out of that negative energy. 
That is all of what you're dealing with, Divine Feminines. And your vibration for this current reading right here. Ten of Cups. Your happiness. Your family. You know, the coming together, that accumulation. It makes you happy. Happily ever after. Getting everything you want, right? So. Divine Feminine. Let's see what's going on with you. Okay, so this Prince of Pentacles. Could be Earth sign, right? And we have Capricorn's card. Actually, we got the Three of Pentacles, so that's three Earth cards. We have three cups and two swords. So, definitely... Not a lot of action, but definitely um, a lot of stuff trying to get stable. Hmm. It seems like uh, the offer to stall, it's a juvenile offer, but it was definitely meant for you. Or maybe you would offer it out if it, this offer would come to you. There's three of Pentacles right here. You're definitely trying to work on yourself and your skills, but people are watching you. People are curious about what you're doing. Yeah, like whatever it is you're trying that is being manifested is breaking some illusions down. Could be with the Pisces or Cancer here, right? That could be involved. Definitely like trying to manifest something that will uh, remove illusions because there is hesitation in trying to work things out or work with somebody else or even deal with like people who are trying to give you advice on how to deal with this since you have such hesitation. But you're very much focused on getting your balance. Um, definitely staying to yourself about it as people watch you. It's like you're performing a little bit while doing the internal work on the inside. I feel like Divine Feminine. Yeah, because you haven't had any idea what to do about this whole like this person won, but they're still a sore loser kind of deal, right? Like... Hmm. My eye is, like, totally bugging me. And I don't know why. Um, you're definitely trying to work on yourself, but it's, like, these people who are surrounding you, like, you don't know what to do with them because you already know that, like, some of these people are not on your side. So there's a lot of indecision with that, I feel like. I feel like I'm giving you more information, but I'm not as tired. So for everybody else, forgive me. I didn't mean to be. But then again, I got my coffee. Let's see. Alright, Four of Cups reverse it's for me i feel like you're coming out of this like you might be drenched or you have been drenched like you are you look it's all gathered around you at the bottom but now it's upside down so it's kind of going back in the cups are kind of going back in like um kind of with with the hermit like it's going back internally being dealt with a little bit better whatever it was that was in your thoughts right yeah you're getting over a lot. You're getting over a lot of imbalances. You're getting off, uh, away from, like, that made you, like, not yourself. Like, really aggressive, you know? Led to, um, moments where you had to look back and possibly feel like, mm, that was not my best behavior. It's kind of a bitch right here. But that was because you're in imbalance. But you're coming out of that a little bit. So that's good. Like, you definitely have in your thoughts about all of the work you've put in with the Hermit. But we have these Five of Cups down here, which is like, someone needs to get over some spilled cups. 
which I think is what you're trying to do. Because it's in your thoughts. Oh, perfect. Okay, so. Like, it's kind of like you want to move on. Like, you don't want to say anything. But you definitely want to go somewhere different. Like, I think if it was a chance, you probably would. But since... Okay, like, check this out, right? This feels like, this one's the Divine Masculine, and this little baby right here is the Karmic. And here you are, walking away from all this. Right? Galloping away without even saying a word or concern. To have a new start. And I feel like that's how you're probably going to get over this. Okay. This lack of clarity here are the Ace of Swords, right? Well, we have two Aces here, too. But... Mm hmm Well, it sounded good. This is, like, really catchy. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah because things didn't get completed very well um like usually like if there's two aces it's like one of them's wrong but i feel like since this one's already reversed like it might tell me what i need to know but we'll see what else comes out with this Ooh. oof I'll take you with these. Yeah, it feels like there's... Someone isn't coming home. Could be Cancer right here. Since that's their card, the Chariot. But it feels like someone isn't going to come home. And I was like... The lack of clarity and the lack of like closure. Almost. And someone made a decision to keep their card up. And I feel like if it was reversed, it's like the way to complete everything is just to let your guard down about this indecision. But it, that's essentially saying the exact same thing. Let's see. Princess of Swords. She's reversed. She's not nice. She's like, I, I don't know. Someone's definitely coming in for like not with speed, but with, like, information. But I don't know if the information is, um, of value or anything. Okay. Hold on. I want to get another one, because, like, It's like I totally got like something completely different than what I should be reading. It's like <laughs> okay. Sometimes like three of pentacles can also talk about third party situations. Not really, because it's more like workplace setting, and you need to be more professional than that. But it's like these two might be. Ba bumping and this person just up here like you know I can tell that right it, it, but it's like you can see it for what it is like they're not hiding this very well under an illusion like it's, it's very clear to this dude on this pedestal um what's going on with this and with the spine person I feel like with the page of cups and the four of swords they're snooping because they want to feel like they can put their mind at ease about giving their heart away. Femmes. I feel like this person's like spying for the wrong reasons in order to help them sleep at night about what's being offered in this love situation. Like, it's like they're offering the cup and they're coming in looking for... Yeah, but that's stagnant. Like, they're trying to find a way to come like almost like confirm their fears but it's not working 
Gonna be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio once again. I think this, they come up a lot. It's almost like a... Um, Like, this probably is what the karmic's doing. But it's kind of like when, um... Someone's already biased. With a, um... Idea in their head, right? And then they just go out trying to confirm it. Just so they feel secure with themselves. Because sometimes the Page of Cups talks about, like, healing a wound or whatever. But the, it, it's only in order for them to, like rest their head the problem is is like it, it, it's making the burden worse it's actually forcing these sticks into the ground in the opposite direction of where you should be going like you should be um pushing and instead this guy is pulling it to him causing it to be a much more longer process than what it needs to be mind you this is about happiness like it, 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 and i feel like with this person like who might be spying on you like they aren't really doing anything. Like, it's not like they can. They got the Ten of Wands reversed. They're just... Like, if, if they look up something about you, or if they're just looking for information, it, they're not going to find it. Which is probably why the burden's so, like... Dragged. It's like, I'm trying to find something, but I can't find anything. And, and I feel like this could be the karmic trying to find some sort of possible dirt. Or something to confirm their own fears. Which is like... It's kind of stupid. It's like trying to bring themselves calm. And it's not... And, it, and all it's doing is making them more anxious. You know, about love offers and shit. So then we have the devil reversed here. Uh, could be Capricorn. Right, but this is like coming out of that energy or that vibration where two people create something with their connection and it, and it just turns wrong. But now someone's coming out of it or they're learning their own vices. Yeah, they're coming out of the illusions with the moon. Hmm. Ooh. Nice. Alright, so... Hmm. Okay, Divine Feminines. Here's this right here, but here is Divine Masculine. He's got the Ace of Cups, which is like, hmm. That's there, so that's another Ace, but I don't know if that one's correct. And this is his happiness, but if we reverse it because the Ace is here, the Emperor is all nettled because he's not getting a love offer, and now he's unhappy. So... Either or, however you want to take that little grouping right. But right here, someone is coming out of their illusions, but they're not letting anybody know about this. But it appears that there is a brand new offer. Feminines, look at that. Pisces, Cancer, once again. Definitely a lot of water in here. But yeah... feels like you're just dealing with somebody who's like like there are people watching and there and there's obviously somebody here watching to um get something even though it won't like accomplish anything you don't even care like the six of cups down here that's reversed right it's like you don't even care it's like it doesn't matter because you know you're happy <laughs> like that's your vibration right now you're absolutely happy you're like you're satisfied all this other stuff is like completely like i mean yeah you have a lack of clarity and there's somebody snooping on you but it's kind of like You're not in the devil energy. You're coming out of that. 
if that isn't you, that's someone dealing with you. Now, you still have indecision right here with the Two of Swords, once again. Right? You still aren't entirely sure about what to do. Oh my freaking god. We got... Okay, High Priestess coming out with some intuition, some divine knowing or thinking or whatever you would call it, right? On this heartbreak situation that calls for a head over heart decision. Or choosing your head over your heart. Just this card, right? Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Sleeping soundly. I love that man, I do. It's just the spleen that sucks. There's no action being taken. Let's draw one. Yeah. Because the new start's beginning. Or you're just not taking any action with this new start. In fact, it's just like you're not sure what to do. What you do know. It's like the High Priestess is catalyzing all of this stuff behind her. But it's like, you're not sure what decision to make. You're going to let your intu intuition about this heartbreak that totally left you like this, right? Because I just happened to notice you're right there. Um, and you're going to have to, like, choose your heart or your head. Like, it's just a hard decision for you to make. But in the end, there's just no passion for a new beginning. Because... You're fucking happy already. We need to start something new for. If you're satisfied, you're satisfied. Why fix something if it ain't broke? Right? Right. So that was yours, Divine Feminines. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.